Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Hub City Drones. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my videos. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Hub City Drones. Remember, hit that subscribe and that notification button for me down there so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I got a really good one for you today, guys. Have you ever wanted to put two drones up in the air and have a drone war with them? Now you can do it. Honestly, you can actually do it now thanks to San Cisco and their A21 Mini Battle Drones. These little things are so much fun, super easy to fly. The price isn't bad either. 35 bucks on Amazon right now, and they have a $15 off clickable coupon. You can get this little guy for 20 bucks. If you buy two of them, they'll give you an additional 10% off your purchase. You have to buy them separately. I'm not sure why they don't have them in uh, like a Battle Buddy pack. Hey, that actually sounds pretty damn good, Battle Buddy pack. But I'm sure they will. The drones are still brand new. Um, they just put them out not too long ago. And I'm sure they'll eventually put them together in a two-pack because you do need two to have a drone war. We're going to unbox this little dude. I'll show you everything you get with it. We'll set it up, which there isn't much to setting it up at all. Then we're going to put it in the air. And my son and I are going to have a little drone war and show you guys just what these things do. Let's go get started because this is going to be a lot of fun. All right, let's get this little dude out of his box and see what we got with him up front. I apologize for any background noise you may hear. It's that time of year we can open our windows and they're all open. And so my dog decided it smells and hears everything now. And the birds decided to chirp away this morning. So there may be a little bit of background noise. But let's get to this thing here. Oh, one mini manual right on the top very cool and even though there's not a whole lot to this drone read your manual guys learn everything you can about it so you know what it does what it can't do all that other good stuff remember what i always say don't be a drone dummy read your manual and it's thick but it's multiple languages so don't let that fool you i think it's really only a couple pages long before you get into the next language yeah it's only like looks like 11 11 pages so not bad but read it, it's 11, won't take you long. All right, let's get this little guy out of the box. I gotta see this. All right, here we go. Ta-da! One San Cisco A21 Mini Battle Drone. Wow, this is really cool. This thing is super tiny. <laughs> wow. So it is made to fly indoors, so I would not recommend taking this thing outside to fly. It only weighs, I think it's like 24.8 uh, grams or something, just under an ounce. It's like 0 0.8 ounces, <laughs> so it's really light. Uh, so even indoors when you're flying it, I would turn your ceiling fans off, any oscillating fans you have, because it's going to super affect the way this thing flies. But I like it. It's cool. I like how the propellers are guarded so you can bump into just about anything. You don't have to worry about ruining your blades or the motors, all that good stuff. Really, really cool. So on the back here is where your battery goes. You just kind of pop this open here. Battery slides in there. You have your on and off switch right here. Neat. This is your laser beam to shoot the other drone out of the air. This part under here, this little thing here, this is your 360 degree sensor. So you don't have to be head on with the other drone to shoot it down. As long as this sensor picks it up, you can get them from the side, from the back, from underneath. How you would do that, I don't know, but that's cool, 360 degree sensor. And for being a mini drone, as small as it is, it really feels very well made. I'm impressed. I mean, it really feels good. Very, very cool. All right, let's open the box here. And yes, it actually comes with a mini controller. If I can get it out of the box. 
<laughs> that's cool. Really small. It's actually perfect for little hands. You can see my hands are big, so it's all over the place. The joysticks feel nice and tight. Super, super cool. So here's your auto take off and land. So you can take it off and land it with this button. Your power button. These little uh, buttons down here. These are your trims. To trim it out when you put it up in the air, it's going to probably drift a little bit here and there, especially if there's a draft or anything like that. And you can fix it just by tapping these in the opposite direction it's drifting. So I believe on this one, if it's drifting left and right, you would do this for if it's drifting right, this one if it's drifting left, and this is backwards and forwards drift. So super cool there. Simple controller. Here's your speeds. It does have three speeds to it. On this side here, this is your laser beam trigger. So one, oops, one tap shoots the laser beam. If you long press this, it actually puts this little dude in headless mode, which I thought was really cool that this little dude has headless mode built into it as well. Super, super cool. Now the range on this little guy here is, I believe, 164 feet. So not bad at all for indoor flying. That's that's pretty decent. You can pretty much go anywhere you want. Just remember, there's no app or FPV, so you have to watch where you're going. But again, with these little bumpers, you know, bump into the wife, the dog, no injury. Might piss her off a little, but that's going to be about it. So let's see here. We have a bag of goodies in here. A mini bag of goodies. Let's see what we got in here. So we have one USB controller. So it says 5 volt, 1 amp. So you could use a power bank, your computer, uh, your cell phone charger box. All that will work. Um, and you just plug it in and plug the battery into here. One screwdriver. More for the controller than anything else. I haven't seen any other screws on the drone. So just to take the backing off, which was thoughtful of them. Very cool. Two uh, AAA batteries is what the controller takes. All right, let's get this stuff out of here. Let's see what we got. We have two mini high-powered 180 mAh 3.7 volt drone engines. You get roughly close to 9 to 10 minutes out of the battery. Uh, again, that's going to depend on what you're doing. If you're in speed 3 or you're doing lots of flips and all that other good stuff with it, of course, the battery is not going to get you your full amount on there because the more you do, the more it drains the battery. So, But you can get a decent, I would say, 8 to 10 minutes out of each battery, which is really cool. I did charge the batteries. I drained them uh, one cycle, and I charged it. And if I remember right, it, it took less than 30 minutes to charge the battery. So that's not bad at all. Not a whole lot of downtime, which is cool. But you get two of them. So charge one where you're out flying the other one, and you'll be ready to go. Then... Ta-da! Four replacement propellers. Very cool. If I can get them up. They're so damn tiny, I can't pick them up with my big hands. So, four propellers. That's everything we get with this little dude. Very cool. Now, back to the controller real quick. It is a 2.4 gigahertz controller, which is really nice. Uh, and that helps so the controllers don't interfere with each other when you're doing both to have your drone wars. So we're going to put the battery in. I'm going to turn it on real quick now. There is no app, so there won't be how to do the app part of this video. Um, and it's real simple to set up. So the battery just goes in, and it says to put the information side of the battery downward. So down like that or facing the top of the drone. And you just slide it in like so. Got a nice fit to it so it's definitely not going to bounce around in there so that's pretty cool and then you just take this little wire here your little connector and you pop it in here maybe did i put it in right i think i did all right let's see all right i'll get it hold on here we go well if you have big hands be prepared. It's going to take you a little bit to get this battery in here. Come on, dude. Gee whiz. All right, let me see. I probably messed up and put it upside down. No, I don't think I did. Let's 
Let's get this black one out of the way so you can make it a little bit easier. So, there we go. We got it now. And then just take your fingernail or whatever and push it down. Make sure you got a good connection on it so it doesn't uh, come loose when you're in flight and drop the drone out of the air. But it's really well protected. So even if it falls out of the air, it's probably not going to hurt it at all. All right, so I think we're in there good. Looks like the wires bend back to, well enough to cover them up and close the cap. So I did notice on the cap this little, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little notch here. You want to take it and kind of push it upward a little bit as you're closing the back and it will snap in like so and you're good to go. All right, let's turn this little dude on and check him out. So the little switch on the back, turn it to on. Ta-da! What's really cool is you don't have to pair the controller. It's got an automatic pairing in it. So that's really cool too. You just turn it on. They stop blinking. They're paired. Now, you have to calibrate the gyros on this little dude. He does have altitude hold, which is super cool. And that makes it that much more easier for uh, the younger kids to fly. Um, you launch it and it just stays there. Again, you may have to correct the drip, but it's really not hard to do. It says for ages 14 and older, but I think a little bit younger than that could probably fly this drone as well. All right, so let's calibrate the gyros. And it's just both the joysticks down and out. And these lights will blink really quick. Maybe. There they go. That's it. Your gyros are calibrated. Now, if you're having your drone wars, uh, when you hit this drone four times, it will land it, slowly land by itself. When it does that, they recommend calibrating the gyros again before you put the drone back up in the air, which is technically the smart thing to do. So when you shoot the drone, the lights will blink. It will shake a little bit. Your controller will beep. And again, if you hit your opponent four times, it causes the drone to fall out of the sky. No, it won't just drop. It will land. This also has an a motor start feature on it which that kind of blew me away many drones usually don't have those so you can actually start the motors before you lift the drone off and both joysticks down and in wow this thing is really quiet that that's impressive i was waiting for it to be really loud because they are brushed motors naturally and it's hard to put a brushless motor in a mini drone and there they go they shut off all on their own that's the A21 Battle Drone, guys. There's nothing else really to know about it. It's that simple to set up. And now we're ready for Hub City Drone's first ever Drone Wars. So let's go get the battle started. I'm going to put up a little mini, <laughs> hence the word mini, drone battle. I'm going to put them both up in the air. This is my cameraman, otherwise known as my son, Justin. We're going to put him up. I'm going to have him shoot my drone just so you can see the effects the drone has when it gets shot and what happens when it gets shot for the fourth time where it just literally falls out of the sky. We're going to get him up, and then after that, I'll show you all the features on the drone, the speeds and the trim and all that other good stuff. So we're going to unlock the motors. Actually, we're going to hit the one key takeoff button, which is really cool. You push the button, and up it'll go. All right, I'm going to keep mine, pretty much try to keep mine in the camera. Oh, he got me. You see there, the drone shook. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, he got me again. Was that four times? Was it? I, I don't know. Three. We're going to find out. There's two. There's three. There's four. And down out of the sky it goes. Game over. That was super cool. Great little battle drones. I love them. Once you get used to flying it, it's so much fun. I'm going to put mine back up. And I'm going to get my revenge. Oh, he's too low. I missed him. I got him that time. Oh, he got me too. He's going to go first. Oh. 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 He beat me again. This is a lot of fun.
Very cool. I'll have him land his. I'm going to show you guys the different speeds, how to trim it, the 360 degree flip that it does. I'll show you all guys all that in a minute. That was really cool. That's what they do. Put them up, shoot each other. Great little battle drones. That was really cool. I'm definitely going to get some more of these at 20 bucks a pop, 80 bucks for a family of four. You can have a hell of a game night. Instead, you can have family game night battle drone edition priceless i it's just well worth it to put the family together and have that much fun something different and fun to do let's go through it and i'll show you all the features on the drone here real quick and then we'll wrap this video up okay guys the san cisco a21 battle drones you saw the battle my son and i had it wasn't a actual battle but i wanted to show you what they do and how much fun they really are so i'm going to unlock the motors Again, you can use the one key takeoff and land button to put the drone up, or you can take both joysticks, push them down and in. That will unlock your motors. Take the left stick up, and up he goes. That's the altitude hold. What I really like about these drones, you guys, is they really don't need a whole lot of trim when you put them up in the air. That's really impressive. Usually they drift one way or the other really bad, and these don't seem to do it. But right here, that's cool. That's actually a really decent takeoff uh, speed and altitude hold. I'll get them over here. I'm going to do the flip real quick. And you guys can see the flip. You just push the right joystick in. And that was it. That was really cool. I'll do another one. I'll do it sideways so you guys can see it. Maybe if I can get them over here. Cool. So he does have the awe where he can all left and right. And then he turns. And then I told you he has three speeds. So I'm going to go ahead and this is speed one. And I'll put him in speed two. The speeds are really comfortable. Three is pretty quick for a mini drone. I was impressed, but I'll put them in speed three for you now so you can see speed three. And you can see he goes pretty good. But again, small enough, they're just so cool. They're easy to fly. You can fly it around your whole house. It's just so cool. Great little drones for battles. That's it. And then you can bring them over and you can do the one key land. I'll show you that here real quick. Hit it. And that's it. They land. That's the A21. All right. So my final thoughts on San Cisco's A21 mini drone. They're awesome. They are absolutely awesome. Definitely five stars. These are definitely going to be in our upcoming Christmas special for sure. The price is just out, just amazing at 20 bucks with that $15 off coupon. If you have a family of four, you could get four of these for under 100 bucks. Put them up in the living room and have family game night battle drone edition. Loads of fun, super easy to fly. I love the takeoff speed and the altitude hold. And I like the fact that I really didn't have to waste any time trimming the drone up. We put them up in the air, no trim at all, and started flying around and shooting each other out of the air. They're that easy to fly. My son, in all full disclosure, did not get any practice time on flying this. That was his absolutely first time putting that drone in the air, and he kicked my ass twice in the in the drone wars. So definitely a five-star drone. Great idea from San Francisco to make this into a battle drone. I've never seen this concept before. So much fun. I'm actually going to go order me some more of these so we can have our own family uh, battle drone night. And I'll make a video so you guys can see it. So remember, subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss that one because that's going to make a heck of a video. I'll put the link down in my description where to go get one. Go get you two, three, four of them. Have a load of fun with them. They are so, so much fun. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you again for watching. Remember, stay safe out there. Have fun. And don't be a drone dummy.